GM is relocating from its famous Detroit headquarters to street level space to showcase its vehicles. And I'm about to explain what this means. Welcome back everyone. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video if you like this report. General Motors plans to relocate its global headquarters to the new Hudson's Detroit complex in 2025. We just learned about this, abandoning its famous Renaissance Center location. GM will continue to own the Renaissance, as it is called, and will join a partnership with real estate firm Bedrock, the city of Detroit, and Wayne County to redevelop the cluster of towers that dominate Detroit's skyline. GM will be the anchor tenant of Bedrock's Hudson's Detroit project, which is built on the site of the former JL Hudson department store. Those of you who are from Detroit area, you know what I'm talking about. This will be General Motors' fourth headquarters site in Detroit. The location is on Woodward Avenue, where GM established its first headquarters in 1911. GM will enter into a 15-year lease for top office floors in the Hudson's complex, along with, quote, street level space to showcase its vehicles and for public activities. Hudson's Detroit is a 1.5 million square feet development that will otherwise feature ground floor retail, a five-star hot hotel, a rooftop bar, a public plaza parking, and large event spaces. Sounds like a nice area. It amounts to two buildings, a 12-story office building and a 45-floor hotel and residential condo tower, all with sweeping views of the Motor City. Here's a quote I'm about to share with you. We are proud to remain in the city of Detroit in a modern office building that first the evolving needs of a workforce that actually fits the evolving needs of our workforce right in the heart of downtown, said GM Chair and CEO Mary Barra. She said, our new headquarters will provide collaboration areas for our team executive offices and display space for our vehicles. Dan Gilbert and Bedrock have done so much to make downtown Detroit a great place to live, work, and visit, we are thrilled to be a significant part of the historic Hudson's project and also look forward to working with them to explore new ideas and opportunities for the Renaissance Center site in the riverfront. I don't like when people say we're proud to do this or we're proud to do that. We're thrilled to do this or we're blessed to do this or we're happy to stay in Detroit or something like that. Pride is not a good thing. Anyway, for more than a century, General Motors has been synonymous with the city of Detroit and we warmly welcome them to Hudson's as they continue to drive the future of innovation and mobility, said Don Gilbert, chairman and founder of Bedrock, the real estate company with which GM is working. I can't think of better organization to help define the new legacy of Hudson's as General Motors continues to shape the way the world moves directly from Woodward Avenue in downtown Detroit, he said. The deal between GM and Bedrock means the automaker, the General Motors, will remain a long-term fixture in the revival of Detroit's downtown, which Gilbert has been spearheading by acquiring and developing 45 major office, retail, and hospitality properties. The original Hudson's department store that was the new project's namesake was uh, once known as the Big Store and for a time was the second largest department store in the world it closed its doors in 1983. And from what I understand from, uh, from this report is that GM is going to still redevelop the iconic you know, towers that is its headquarters. It's going to be redeveloped and I don't know what they will do later with that. But this is the interesting news that GM is moving from that Renaissance Center to new location in 2025. How do you think, friends, this will shape the automotive industry as Detroit is the center of big three, GM, Ford, Chrysler? So what do you think this means for General Motors and for Ford, Chrysler and for the future of Detroit and automotive industry together? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you like this report, please give us a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And visit us at TorqueNews.com for daily very interesting automotive news. And come back a little bit later because I will have a new story for you about cars and automotive. God bless you and I'll see you soon in our next report.